Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror PSA presented by Scary Nerd, and as always, we are your hosts. I'm Paul. I'm Saul. And I'm Angie. The following is a public service announcement. In a remote military outpost in the 19th century, Captain John Boyd and his regiment embark on a rescue mission which takes a dark turn when they are ambushed by a sadistic cannibal. That's right, we watched the 1999 Guy Pierce film, Ravenous. Ravenous. Welcome back to the Horror PSA Podcast. We are a podcast that likes to look at horror movies from a comedic lens, I guess we could call it. And yes. we will help you. We'll give you tips and tricks along the way that if you ever find yourself in these situations, and how the best way to get out of them. Kind of some life advice. We will give you PSAs. Yes, PSAs. Uh, the first one I would think of is don't hang out with cannibals. Don't hang out with cannibals. Yes. Yeah. You know, that's, that's probably a good one. Especially if they tell you the story about how they ate everybody. Oh, you you know, like yeah. the opening to this movie, you knew it was going to be kind of gross because like they made those steaks in the opening scene look yeah. so bloody and gross. And I was like, is that even a steak? What is that? Because they had like yeah. a weird bone in the middle. I was like, is that somebody's leg? <laughs> yeah, they, they did a lot with Colonel Boyd, Captain Boyd. Uh, they did a lot with Captain Boyd's kind of uh, freak outs. Yeah. Yeah, His they did. freak out sessions. PTSD. Where, PTSD. Yeah, like a lot of that came back. It was a lot of the, the, the noise and the quick camera movements. And just there was a weird like sounds throughout this movie. Yeah, too. Like, the, the soundtrack was a bit weird and off-putting. There was off-putting, some chanting but I think that times. might have been like, the over, because this whole movie t- didn't make sense to my brain no, when I watched it. And I'll tell you why. It's because like it was so 90s Western. Yeah. Like, I believe they were hiking up that fucking mountain. They were hoofing it up that mountain. Like, they used practical effects, practical shots, the wilderness. You know, they used it all like they did in the 90s when they made those big budget westerns. Here's the funny thing how you say that this movie makes absolutely no sense. If by chance you see the trailer before you see this movie, it makes absolutely (laughs) zero sense. Yeah, but my brain just was like, this is not a horror movie. This is just a Western. See, that's the thing about it, though. Like, I like. I like to go into movies that I haven't seen blindly. I don't yeah. like to look at, I don't like to read anything about them. I don't like to watch the trailer or any of that. Kim, on the other hand, likes to watch the trailers. Yeah. So we saw the trailer for this and we both looked at each other. I was like, this does not seem like a horror movie. It seems more like, yeah. an, ac- like an action Western type of movie. Yeah. So when we watched it, like when we were actually watching this, I'm like, okay, the trailer does it no justice because it's going to make you think it's something completely different. Well, even the description of the film really doesn't do it justice. It doesn't at all. Yeah. See, what you're saying about the whole 90s Western thing and uh, watching this whole movie, I'm like, is this basically just a ripoff of Dances with Wolves, but you threw cannibals, cannibals. in <laughs> instead of instead of like a different native tribe? Yeah, it's just cannibals. The, like the, the sets and the costumes and everything were just so big budget Western to me. And I was just like, OK, where's it's a period where's the, piece? It though, is. Yeah. It is a period yeah. piece. But at the same time, it gives you a lot of comedy, too. That's almost it's a different layer that kind of sometimes really works with the whole feel of overall of what they're going with. And sometimes it doesn't like I loved the part where Private Right. Right. Yes. Where he when he dies. And he's just got that smile on his face the whole time. I was like, okay, it's the funny part. And like they had other comedic parts, but I was like, this doesn't go with the rest of the movie. Like the (laughs) tone of what they were doing doesn't go with it because I thought it was weird. Okay, you're dead. Your eyes are still open and you have this weird smile on your face. Yeah, it didn't go along with the rest of the comedic tone they had already set. And then they continued to pull through it through the rest of the film, right? It's just that one weird scene where he's just so smiley and he's got those eyes and that like bright hair and you're just yeah. like what is with you <laughs> i think the the one that i was kind of glad they added a comedic moment in is at the end when boyd finally gets um ives or calhoun or whatever the hell you call it the cannibal when, Let's yeah. just when, say when the boyd cannibal. finally traps the cannibal into that big bear trap and then he's sitting there he's like that was sneaky oh yes i loved uh, the fight at the end okay <laughs> I, here's the one thing i don't get especially with that how did was, was it supposed to be a bear trap? Yeah, or just yeah. like an oversized. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So obviously Boyd was on top of Ives, or whatever the hell you want to call him. Yeah. How would that have also killed him? Because he's taking the blunt of that impact. 
No, I just assumed it went through both of them. There's spikes on both sides. Yeah, so it would have at least closed it's like a, it enough to go yeah, back through the like back part. Yeah, it's like a big part. mouth, and yeah. there's spikes on both sides, so when you close it, you're getting the bottom and the top spikes. Okay. Yeah. So it still would have got him in the back or whatever yeah. and all that. So, I mean, either way, like... And isn't the big thing with those die. traps is it's just pressure, right? Yeah. It's like a spring pressure, right? It's yeah. kind of a thing. Because so. I was supposed to like either break a leg to hold him in place or do something like that. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, I know the, the comedic moments in this movie were good except for that one private rag scene and I was just like this doesn't go with the rest of it <laughs> but there's a part and I, I don't remember which part it was but I wrote down I really love the black sheep style fall down the hill that oh, they yeah. just did right now yeah. <laughs> so they fall yeah, yeah, down yeah. this massive like mountain and they roll together and I'm just like what is going yeah. on right now FYI, I was high when we watched this, so it might that, have just caught me off guard a little bit. I think the part that cracked me up the most is when they were going on their expedition, and all of a sudden, who was it? Uh, Jeremy Davies, Private Toffler, how he fell down and tumbled and had that big gash on the side of his on the side of his stomach. Yeah, and he woke up and he's like, "He licked me. He licked me. He was licking me. Yeah, <laughs> like, he was part. licking me. He licked me. Nope, nope. He licked he me. Was licking that whole me. scene. I'm like, all right, I don't care what the fuck, like." Okay, I'm I'm glad that they at least put handcuffs on the guy, or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah. But that was his plan because he's like, no, if you don't feel if you feel uncomfortable, just just go ahead, handcuff me. Like it's fine. It's yeah, fine. it's I a false it. sense of security. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, there's something going on here. This guy already admitted well, tried, to eating people. It, yeah. it was funny because he tried to play it off as like, oh, I was having nightmares about this. I'm like, you still were fucking looking that other. Yeah, dude. Right? what fucking yeah. nightmare are you gonna have that you wake up and you're licking somebody's wound? Yeah. yeah. You like, know what it reminded me of? Madagascar when the lion eats <laughs> and takes <laughs> and a bite out of Marty's ass. butt. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. He was like, like what, what are you doing? Excuse me, you're biting my butt, is what he says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. And plus, how do you, uh, all right. They were all kind of incompetent soldiers to me, yeah. right? I love when they, when that guy shows up and then he tells him the story, right? And the Jeffrey uh, Jones. The Colonel, Colonel Hart, yeah. he's like, we have to go. And everybody's like, why? And he's yeah. like, it's our job, guys. <laughs> like, this is literally yeah, really our only like, job. I really think in the parallels with like um, Dances with Wolves, it was like, all right, well, they were kind of, uh, we're going to send you where you want to go, just in the middle of nowhere in California, like Northern California is where they said, you know, the furthest yeah. away that I can send you. And it was like, all right. It's the same kind of story. They're sending him to the middle of nowhere, basically. Well, they and sent him was because expecting... he was a coward. They didn't... Well, they, okay, well, they, yeah. That was a punishment. That, I mean, it yeah. was for the, for uh, the other guy, the General the Slauson, sorry. Not Slauson, Colonel. yeah, he's the one who sent yeah, him. Yeah, General Slauson was like, yeah, I know what you really are. Like, get the fuck away from me, kind of whatever. Yeah, I want you but I didn't, far away as possible. I kind of didn't expect there to be other soldiers there. And then once you got there and you saw who they were, you know, you had Jeffrey Jones's character, who's clearly like an inept leader. Yeah. And you had guys like um, the fucking, you know. David Arquette's character. David Arquette's character, yeah, Pir Private Cleaves and all that. I'm like, these are just like, all right, we're, we're stuck with these guys. We got to do something with something them. So with let's them. throw them over there. It's like the thing. bad batch you send them over here. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. why are you guys Jeffrey Jones doing anything, man? I like, can't look at Jeffrey Jones in like one of those coats with the coattails and everything without thinking of Sleepy Hollow. And I'm just like, you're a dirty man. <laughs> this was probably around <laughs> the same man. time because I think 99 for this Could've movie. Been. I think uh, Sleepy yeah. Hollow was around that time but too. But every time I see him in that style of coat and long hair, I'm just like, nope, he's up to something. No, every yeah. time I see him, I'm like, you're a dirty pedophile. <laughs> so well, you know, it doesn't matter what he's wearing at that point. That's so. true. Yes, that's true. Um, so when he does get stabbed the first time, I was like, "Yeah, you probably deserve that." And they, I was like, "Why would they split up? All of you go into the fucking cave. Like, why are you guys splitting up? This makes no sense." Especially as that guy starts freaking out, I've been like, "No, uh, two strongest guys no, get okay, back here." No, yeah. Well, that's I think that's the thing that they were trying to do because I'm like, two strongest guys go in the fucking cave. It's dark. We don't know. Yeah. We, we suck in here. Yeah, you guys go in there. All right. So I get that that they had to go in there, but the minute that fucking. Uh, Ives Calhoun starts started to freak out, and when you crazy. have Toffler there, I'm like, all right, Toffler, you need to fucking nut up here because that motherfucker licked you last yeah. night, right? and now he's acting all weird. I'm like, I would have shot him twice already. No, and I to I totally him. thought he was gonna be he was gonna take a different tone, Private Toffler, right? Yeah. yeah. As because after he falls down, like you said, he gets that he's getting patched up, and he's like bourbon now. Yeah. <laughs> like he starts yelling for yeah, it because he's like, in pain. So I was like, okay, man. maybe he's nutting up here. But no, after that guy, like when he's freaking out and Toffler's just staring, I'm like, shoot him. 
Well, Shoot the, him in the face. If any of them that would have thought, okay, they need to do something like right away was what is it, George? Because he's the one who was telling the story of the Wendigo. Yeah. And you would have thought, yeah. he would have been like, oh, George no. should have just taken him out. I really liked that whole Native American route that they took with the Wendigo and how yeah. it like brought in the cannibalism Except and stuff. Except you know that nobody fucking listened to them. Yeah. At all. Nobody did. But no, and even um, George. When stuff starts going, he goes up and around. He knows yeah. something's up, but yeah. still, he could have reacted a little quicker. But if anything, though, when he started, when I started freaking out, and he started digging. I'm like, okay, he's up to something. I'm like, right. you need to do so- shoot him with your fucking arrow. You knew he was here at one point in time. Yes. So why would he be digging right there for no other reason than having something there, yeah. like a weapon? That there would be no other reason to just start yeah, feverly exactly. digging no, into the dirt I, like uh, that. Okay, as Toffler, I go back and be like, "This motherfucker said he ate people, and he, he licked admitted me. to it, yes. yeah, and he licked me." Mm-mm. So Soon that as he okay, getting squirrely. No, so that night, I wouldn't have gone back to bed if no. I was Toffler. I'd be like, "Nope, I'm gonna wait for all you motherfuckers to fall asleep." I love how Toffler's like, "He sleeps outside." I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill this guy and blame it on somebody else. I'm like, "Yep, he was attacked by wolves." Like, wake George's ass up. Like, look, George, we need to handle some shit. It, man. No, I would have just been like, no, I woke up and that. he was trying to eat me, so I knifed he was him. Licking me yeah, that's why you have no, yeah. no, you have George do it and be like, look, he was trying to eat me mm-hmm. again, and George helped me, and like George, yeah. like, yep. When you some convincing on there, he knew he knew something was up when he told no him more the story about the Wendigo. Wendigo. Martha deserved more. His sister. Yeah. Uh, I love that when shit started hitting the fence. She's like, "Fuck this! I am out of here. We've been trying to warn you guys. You yep. already killed my brother, and you're mm-hmm. not pinning this shit on me because I'm, I'm the out. only brown one left, and you're going to blame it all on me." Yep, I'm out. I'm getting out of here. Oh, and she just pieces out. That's, that's She's like, fuck awesome. this, Fort Windigo, I'm out. I wrote, it's a trap <laughs> when it's they get trap. to the cave. Because, yeah, that's exactly what it was. But why would you believe that guy? Why would you believe anything he said after he said, I ate people too? I mean, like, part no, where you should have known something was up is when he said that he's been out there for three months. They didn't have any food. But, but you got he still here. Ate. But no, like, I don't understand why they were like, yeah, let's go back. No, you call somebody. You then, you call well, somebody. You call more think, people. You have like four guys in your fuck, whole fucking but, post, but man. But who are they going to call to come yeah. help them? They were in the middle of nowhere. I don't care. You, well, and it's like then, if, if even if they would have sent you know a telegram or whatever to um to whoever they sent. Slothen. Uh, yeah, the sloths and whoever. I'm assuming they were the nearest, you know, military you post, know, or, post whatever or whatever to them. So I'm like, he probably would have just been like, you guys are dumb. Just handle it on your own. Well, even then, though, like when he said, oh, we need to go back. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You guys are some sort of soldiers. You realize, okay, what they say? It was like a three, maybe four day walk from where they were, were at. Yeah. And supposedly this lady's out there in this wilderness with this storm and everything. You start doing the math. You're going to realize, okay, it's very highly unlikely that she's still alive. So pretty much all you're going to do now is just recover a body. Yeah. So you wouldn't like, that's my thing. Get some help. Yeah. Because there's no point in trekking out into the wilderness. Because all the time, back in the day, FYI, I have a history degree, people just fucking died in the woods. Yes. <laughs> all the fucking time. Uh, like, again, why are you going out there with nobody else knowing that you're in these fucking woods? Like, again, this is Fort Windigo, and this is the inept soldiers they throw to just get I out guess, of the fucking way. I guess. If Jeffrey Jones is your colonel, I mean, what yeah. else do you have to do? And you got like, David Arquette, who can't be trusted into town without spending what? No, he's, on. You know, no women, no local weed, no peyote. I'm yeah. like, what's the point of even going to town then? Yeah. I know. They put I mean, restrictions on what he can do. Why can't you buy weed? <laughs> He can buy weed. He just I mean, can't technically, it's California weed. now, and it is legal, local so weed. buy some weed. weed. <laughs> no local weed, no peyote is what they told him, and I think well, no women as I well. I mean, so. I'm trying to have a good time with one life I yeah. have, and I'm going to get hey, some You know what? It's weed. fucking, you're, you're a private in the 1800s in, mm. some, in, the, in the shittiest uh, fort women, in all the land. They're, before we turned the captions on, I thought they said local weed, and I was like, what's he got against the local weed? <laughs> Is there something what wrong with the strain that's yeah, in your town? Like, don't or? be smoking that ditch crap. Yeah, Get the imported like, stuff. Maybe he just meant that it's not good and they need to buy better weed. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't don't buy from Jebediah. Don't buy from Jebediah. It's like all he's going to give you is sticks and stems, nothing mm-hmm. good. You want to buy from the from the dry cleaners. They got all the good stuff. There you go. Mm, but after, after they'd get back to the cave and discover that everybody's eaten, I like, I like how the skeletons are just standing up. And like 
they're he, all arranged in there. He ate them in the point where they died. It's like, okay, he's going to string one up and he's just going to eat them. Like, you wouldn't think yeah. he would like, cut off a leg, cut off an arm. Something, and then... man. Are you saying he had like that big meat thing where you just slice a little off at each time? Like, like what is it, the kebab? Like, the, the, yeah, like, no, that that big like meat thing that oh, they yeah, put yeah, like yeah, the layers yeah. and they just cook so they just slice it on the outside. Mm-hmm. Like, like the big ones they have at like Greek restaurants. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's how he did it. He just spun them around. Like little, That's what he could have done. A little off the shin this time. Yeah. I, did, I saw that guy. When he first sees him out the window, I was like, no, nope, don't trust that dude. He just showed up randomly. And then when he gets up and he's all naked and he's like, I'm a man of God. I'm like, no, you ain't. No. You're not. Like, people like that don't get up and get naked in front of other people. <laughs> You're not fooling me. <laughs> I'm not getting eaten by a fucking cannibal. I can tell you that much. I'm suspicious of everyone. Okay, so here's my question about Boyd. Do we think he actually ate somebody or was it like the whole... Because the thing I I took it is when they buried all the bodies on top of him. The blood and just the blood went, started, into went into his mouth. Yeah, do that's what think, I took it as. Do we think he actually ate anybody? Or was I it just know. that? See, I... Okay. I, I thought so at first, and I and I would normally say yes, that I'm pretty sure that he had to eat somebody, and that's like he knew where the guy was coming from. But the fact that apparently cannibalism gives you superhuman powers, and Boyd didn't have those, yeah. I'm going to say that he didn't he actually eat anyone. He just stayed there long enough to convince everyone that he was dead, and then he broke out. Yeah, but the blood... Everyone. the. Blood the had blood, yeah. started the appetite yeah. for more blood. He got the taste for yeah, it. Yeah, the whatever. blood definitely got in his mouth. And maybe maybe that's, you know, like a weird side effect. Maybe that's why he was kind of like I kind, kind of, of queasy got, about yeah. the meat yeah. and all that. Like, well, and had I think, other things. I think it was he was having an God. internal struggle of like, well, I know if I eat people, he had the taste, I'm better. He, what it, well, the one thing you kind of view it is he had a taste of things to come. It's yeah. like, okay, I have the blood and it's giving me a little bit of power to be able to get out of all these bodies. Yeah. And if he takes that step further. I really loved that backstory of him just being a fucking coward. Yeah. I really dug it because like the whole imagery of that war scene in the beginning as again, it's classic Western war scene, oh. but then like how he just lays down and you get that like cloudy bomb yeah. like just shot yeah. of him laying there while everybody's calling his name and I was like Ugh, what is with our movies and so much about guilt this month yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know but still that's another thing he's got to live with too because he saw pretty much you would think would be his friends because he's going to battle with them dying and they're calling out for him he's well like, nope. he was their leader he was their captain yeah. and so he basically abandoned them he's like, and nope. just per- played dead that's why everybody was so pissed at him but I mean that's what people do when they get scared. They, yeah. They true. go and to pieces. And if you're in war like that, I mean, I don't know, like, can you really blame him? I mean, I don't know. It's it's life or death at that point. And it's but like, isn't, and I get one point, like, as I think they were trying to paint the picture too that, that he kind of ditched them early on. Yeah. Really. Like it was like the first hint of battle. He was yeah. like, fuck this, I'm out of here kind of mm-hmm. thing. So, I mean, if, if that's the kind of thing they're going with, then yeah, I'm like, I, I get that. Then he definitely was like on. Three different levels. He was being a coward, you know, not just just the one thing, you know, hiding among the dead things. I'm like, I get that. But everything that coupled with it, I think, is what they were really going for. And you were like, yeah, this guy sucks. Yeah, Yeah. there was a lot about uh, morality and uh, consumerism and uh, (laughs) manifest destiny reaching out her arms to devour it all. (laughs) The uh, (laughs) the the end when uh, when Calhoun is really just trying to. You know, he's he's got his sales pitch about, mm-hmm. you know, converting to cannibalism. He's yeah. like, look, man, he's like, you feel great, you blah, blah, blah. Like, And then when fucking um, Pedro Jones shows up and he's, I'm like, ah, oh, you asshole. Like, why is he back? Because then I'm like, I hate him even more because you know that he would just be like. You know he ate some people. You know, yeah. no, it's not even the fact that you know that he ate people. You know that it wouldn't take that much to convince his fucking ass either. No. Because it was like he stabbed him and you know in the stomach and kind of gutted him a bit. And then it saw him the last thing he saw um Calhoun was dragging him back into the cave. Well yeah, because George's axe got into his back as well. Yeah. Yeah. So he's dragging them back into the cave and you know, and you're like presumably you at first you think, you know, he's gonna eat all these people, obviously. So he's that's where he's taking these people. So it's safe to assume that he took um, Hart, which is Jeffrey Jones's Colonel Hart, he took him in there and he's like, look, you'll live if you eat this and join me and blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, he, and he, that's he says what that I woke up and I he was feeding me. So okay, like Jeffrey still, Jones' character oh, yeah. made it seem like it was more of a forced 
No, thing. Fuck, fuck him, no. No, it yeah. wasn't forced on him. I don't care what he says. That's well, a lie. No, because he <laughs> does, he's the guy, though. He he's the guy it. that would lie. He does take it. He he's was the like, guy that I would started lie eating, or he was feeding me, and then I got stronger, so I just kept eating. Like, okay, well, then that's on you. <laughs> and not to mention the fact that he came back and started killing those other soldiers. He as did. Well, he killed so. uh, the Arkad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he killed Cleves. And all the horses. He killed all the horses, and he killed that other one, too. The you know, what was the point of killing the fucking horses? The doctor one? Yeah. What was the doctor? Oh, Knox. 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 Yeah, he was Dr. Knox, the drunk doctor. Yep. He was constantly you know, he drunk. Was a, wasn't he the veterinarian, they said? Like, <laughs> yeah. He was a veterinarian, but he don't get sick. He was a veterinarian sick. pretending to be a doctor, so don't get sick, I think is my advice, is what they said. Yeah, and I love when Calhoun takes Colonel Ives' uh, identity, which he pretty much just does by taking Which was so much easier yeah. back then because all you have to do is uh, just say, hi, I'm Colonel Ives. And, and people are like, oh, hello. I clearly have his suit. Oh, I am him. You're a white man and you're saying you're Colonel Ives. We believe you. Okay. Yes. Not much background checks back then. You don't have a photo ID to prove it wrong. Exactly. So. <laughs> really is. As I was thinking about all those unsolved mysteries we saw, even like the fucking 60s, like all those unsolved mysteries episodes. I remember was like, one where they were like, they just sent in to get a new. Family. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. just yeah. sent in via mail to get a new social security card that wasn't mine. Like, I know. What? <laughs> that shit that you see at the end of fucking Shawshank Redemption, we're like, could that really just fucking work? Oh, Apparently yeah. it did yeah. back in the fucking mm-hmm. 60s and just, maybe even to the 70s. It was like, you saw all those ones where like, I found out my grandfather had a whole different family and he mm-hmm. was actually this escaped bank robber and he just changed <laughs> his name and got a new social security card and had a family. Time cut his were mustache. Wild. Ash, trimmed his beard, yeah. got a new haircut. You can't disappear like that these days. No, they'll find your ass. You, I mean, you get a new Facebook. People are like, "Why do you have a new Facebook?" Yes. Yeah, it's what weird. It's like my other one. I got it put in Facebook jail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but when when the new, I don't. Okay, so <laughs> how long before someone gets well, arrested for think... stealing their own identity? That's oh, what's going to happen yes. one day. Do you think that Calhoun was Colonel Ives originally? No. No, I don't think so. No. no, you think he was Calhoun originally, and then no, just took I, over Colonel Ives? That's he, I think no, he I he may have been two or three different other dudes yeah. before Calhoun. I think he just he's been doing this a while, probably, and but just he, keep yeah. assuming identities of people. And like, okay, I hate this dude. Yeah. He's about to go west. All right, I'm we'll going see, with these people. Well, well, that's what makes me think he was Colonel Ives to the other people because the story he tells them is all about how awful Colonel Ives is and yeah. how he ate everybody. So I'm like, are you just like projecting that that's you? And <laughs> you know well, what I okay. mean? Like, I, I assume that's obviously what he did to the other people. Yeah. So yeah, I, he was Colonel Ives to the other people. He was Colonel Ives in that story. Story. I don't think he was Colonel Ives to the other people. I think yeah. he was just some other. I think he was ever who the hell Calhoun actually was, and just mm. assumed that guy heading west with these people. And then once he ate everyone, he just told the fake story that it was actually Colonel Ives and not him that ate everybody. Yeah, because he had to lure them in. He set the trap and he set the bait, and then the trap was unli- un- unleashed. Well, yeah, but I just assumed like he was the bad guy in the story originally because that was he just. Tagged along yeah. so he could eat all of them people. So he yeah. was just Colonel Lives Who to knows. the other people. But anyway, when uh, he does come back and they're like, oh, we're putting him in this place after um, all the other people are dead and they're reinstalling another colonel at the, the base or whatever, he comes back and he is now the head. Yeah, he's the head honcho. Yeah, Colonel Lives. I love when he's talking to General Slauson about the Wendigo and he mispronounces it and oh, yeah. he gets that, that guy's like goes to correct him and he's like, I know I mispronounced it. I'm making a point. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was another one of those comedic moments. They're like, you didn't really need that. But no. It's just like randomly yes. silly for no reason. I love those little just like, like when Toffler yells for the the bourbon or whatever those are the great comedic moments and i just i don't know like like i said this movie didn't make sense to my brain because my brain was just like it's a western this movie was all over the place it i was. mean it's it, it's a good movie and it's just kind of out there I, but i think the fact that like if you don't know what to expect from this movie at all which obviously none, yeah, none of us, of us yeah. did yeah. 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 this is the first time watch for all of us and i before it was suggested to us i'd never even heard of it so I think going in not knowing what to expect and then just having all these random things happen. Everything just like, unfold. Yeah, yeah, like it's just it's just batshit crazy throughout. You're like, wait, why? And what what's going on yeah. here? I think and that's you, what made me appreciate it more so. Because yeah. like I, said, I hadn't heard any of it. So when you told me that we had gotten this one suggested, I looked it up and I saw, okay, this is a ninety nine film, Guy Pierce, okay, I've seen him in a couple things. And then I started seeing Isn't he the Mandarin? 
Yeah, he's no, he, yeah, he was the uh, the fake Mandarin, the yeah. false flag. But anyways, you start seeing all these other people that are in it. I'm like, okay, David Arquette, which is going to be interesting because it's him. Uh, he can go either way. And then what's his face, Jeremy Davies? I'm seeing in a bunch of other stuff. I'm like yeah. Neil McDonough, same thing. It's like, okay, this is movie is going to be interesting just on cast alone. But once you actually start seeing it, it's like, what in the world? I know. I think the cover photos that I saw showed Neil McDonough as like the main yeah. guy. And yeah. I'm like, he's seen it for like two scenes. Yeah, basically. he's yeah. not in it very much. It's the same thing with uh, David Arquette. Like you expected him to have some sort of a role. And really, he's just no, a side he's just a, character yeah, he's a throwaway. who dies very early on. He, like, goes, he goes to town and then he comes back and he dies. Like, yeah, that's, that's pretty, much, pretty much his whole character. But he is a baby in this film. Yeah. Like he, he looks so young. And I know in 1999, he wasn't that young. <laughs> I was a well, baby in 1999. Wasn't, wasn't this around the time he did Scream yeah, as well? Yeah, this was a Scream so I think so, yeah. He, he wasn't, it was Scream 2 already by 99? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. what, 96 was the first Scream? That's yeah. Right. That's right. So mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, he already, was already Dewey and everything. Wow. So weird. This is, yeah, This these are the types of movies that celebrities do after they, they make a big movie. Then they're like, all right, I have some time. I can squeeze in another crap movie. Mm-hmm. All right, I got Oh. Three was in two thousand, so he was like so he filming was the this and then film three and then yeah, so he was busy. So this was a good, probably a a cheap. Uh, this was a vacation house somewhere for him. Just be like right. I can play this guy for two weeks. Why the fuck not? Yeah, yeah. But at the end, once Colonel Ives goes full cannibal, right? Like he yeah. just he's killed everybody. He's got Colonel Hart back there. He really starts to talk about cannibalism, and at a certain time, I was like. Are they trying to make cannibalism sexy like vampirism? No. Like, it, it is really, that what they're trying to do the, here? Okay, this whole thing to me was like, so basically, like, so the other thing that I wondered too, I'm like, do you still age then? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's, so I'm like, what's so the is point? This, so is this basically vampirism except you have to eat people? Like the actual yeah, you gotta meat, eat meat, yeah. But and you can still go out in the sunshine. Like, do you live forever? Because then I don't know. Like, there's questions to be had. There yes. is a lot of questions. And there was a couple scenes. Where I'm like, are they gonna make out? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of tension and yes, yeah, like Boyd and Ives were well, just like they were so in each other's Well, it face. made me wonder too why um, Ives Calhoun was trying to recruit other dudes and not yeah. like a wife or something. Yeah, you nobody know? else like, other than dudes. I yeah. don't know. Well, well, no, but I'm saying, but you don't know how long he's been doing this. No. And yeah. like I said, I'm assuming he's traveled for a while because th- didn't he have an accent too? Like he kind of had an and, accent. In the beginning, but at the end, he, he did not. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the so what, was, what was his real voice then? That's well, my fucking question. In the beginning, he <laughs> yeah. said he was born in Scotland, so he kind of had the fake Yeah, Scottish so accent. whether he was yeah. doing that as a fake accent to just continue portraying whoever Calhoun really was yeah. or Act it was just a bullshit eyes. thing. So yeah, this guy was a min, uh, major con artist. Yes. But I'm like, why are you recruiting other dudes then? So I don't know. Maybe he was looking for not only a partner, but a partner as a well. Partner, partner. Partner, well, partner. the other tension scene, too, is towards the end when, what, he stabbed Boyd in the stomach and he's bleeding, him out, bleeding out and he's telling him, look, eat the stew that I made you so you can live. Yeah. And they're just kind of going back and forth. I'm like, there's a lot of tension in this scene. It's like, I almost felt like, what's his face? I was going to take a spoon and start feeding him and be like, look, motherfucker, you don't want to do it on your own. I'm going to start feeding your he ass. He really wanted Boyd. See? He did. He know. really wanted to recruit the, Boyd yeah, well, for the some whole, reason. The whole ending parts of, you know, it, it was a big infomercial for pro cannibalism to yeah. me. It was like, and yeah, Brent Franklin. Like, there was a yeah, lot Brent of Ben Franklin, Franklin quotes. Yeah, like, <laughs> I love in the beginning it has that like uh, I think it was a like Frederick Nietzsche quote. Oh yeah, eat, just, me, like, eat me, anonymous. Yeah, and then immediately into like an American flag. It's mm-hmm. like yeah, that's it's American flag. Eat I me. know it felt like. It was so 90s in that sense. The yes. the ridiculous quotes, the hokey music that they played as the comedy over. <laughs> yeah, there was a, this, like, this is so 90s comedy. There right was now. a scene where they were playing, um, I think it was when they were like running after each other or something in the forest, like just after the cave scene. And there was a, there was a song playing and it totally reminded me of that. That one song from Raising Arizona, where it's like <laughs> the, like the kill Billy, kind of like, ee! yes, exactly. That's what I was like. Okay, yeah, this is a comedy. Got it. Yeah, I I'm like, a- is this a Coen Brothers? Like, what is? <laughs> what does this movie want to be? I like, don't I know. don't know. Yes. Wait, now they're fucking eating people. Like, yeah, it's confusing, but at the same time, it's so deep. Like I said, yeah. it's got all these layers. Like, it's got the whole backstory about Boyd's. Cowerism, like it's got you know his guilt about it's that. Cowardice, it's cowardice. 
cowardism. Cowardism is a word. <laughs> it is a very. It and is they use it cowardism. Seven o'clock on a Monday evening. I have cowardism. no brain left. Okay. It's cowardice. I make up my own words. Fine. Hey, it's it works. Cowardice. We, know what you, we knew what you meant. It's cowardism. Yes, but like they talk about that. That's the whole feast or famine. Like they got that whole theme. Nope. They've got, you know, consumerism. Eat, 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 eat. I know. We and I was really like, so it's like Highlander. They eat other people and they get all there their powers. Yes. yes like, there can only be one. That's what <laughs> I was like. That's why he's eating people. Got it. All right. He Highlander. Yeah. So, guy. That, so then, then that was my other question. What if you eat another cannibal? Like what Ooh, powers you gain from Do you get that all the shit? cannibal powers? Like if That's he's what? already like yes. superhuman, mm. then you eat the cannibal. Like you Yeah. So like superhuman? if they ate Colonel Hart, right? Yeah. So yeah. No, I'm saying or if you Boyd. ate Calhoun, like if Boyd ate Calhoun, because mm. obviously Calhoun's a lot you know, Smarter. deeper into the into yes. the cannibalism game. Yeah. He's a he's a veteran cannibal, so he's got to stored up some shit, man. Well, yeah, and there was a big uh, theme about morality too, because Boyd doesn't want to eat people because yeah. of the morality of yeah. it all. And at the end, when he's the last to die, it's kind of like morality wins. Like, yeah, he's not going to eat anybody okay. else. He just laid there and died. Good for Except him. They Fucked up with the damn stew, which I thought was hilarious. Oh, just, yeah. Dude just come I in saw there. that coming. Because you know what? Fuck Slauson, though. He yeah, was a Slauson's dick. A so dick. Slauson kind of deserved it. Yeah. And the funny thing to me about it is Slauson's not even going to know about it or what he's craving. or like, nope. I don't know. Do you think you'll ever, like, if you had the cannibal cravings, do you think you'd ever just look at another human and be like, oh, my God, I want to eat that. Like, I'm going to eat you. I like, don't know. Like, that's what it is. Like, do you ever think your brain would piece that together? Like, if you're just looking over at someone <laughs> after you've had the cannibal stew okay, and you well, didn't know you had the cannibal stew? Let me ask you this question, Paul. Have you, You've eaten a lot of suspect tacos in your day, right? Probably. I've been to spring break on Mexico yeah. and I've gotten tacos So on there's the chances corner, so you've yeah. eaten a cat, you might have eaten a dog, and but have, have you, you ever, like, craved that? I've craved tacos, yeah. But tacos, yes. but yeah. not like dog tacos or cat tacos. Well, you don't, okay, no, because you don't if know. You didn't know. See, exactly. But no, so but if think, you didn't know, you wouldn't no, 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 be craving okay. that thing. No, okay. But no, no. Here's my thing, right? Okay. So if I have a taco from a taco place somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. yes. I know what that taco tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's going to taste the same every time I order it, right? So I can crave that specific taco from that specific taco place. Okay, so but then maybe that, he just craves stew, that okay, specific stew. But that, but I'm saying if that specific taco was like, you know, cat or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Then I would never know that it's cat that I'm craving, but I would still know that I'm craving that specific taco from that specific yeah, place. Yeah, so like I'm and saying, he would, you until you find out he what would it is. crave that stew, that specific stew I had this so one but, time. Yeah, but you're saying he'll never realize that it's human yeah. because yes. he never knew. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So he would just wait, be wait, like, wait, I wait, want wait. that stew. I just thought of something. Hmm. That they inadvertently create zombies. Because if that dude's going to eat it, and then he's not going to know it's food. It's going to drive him nuts. And he's but gonna... he's not dead. Why would he yeah, die? Yeah, he's not then? dead, though. It's not a zombie. But he's still eating food. He's still eating okay, flesh. if you're dead, that's one thing. But if you're not dead, you're a cannibal. And like he Zombies would, are dead. He would only crave the like, cooked meat, though. He wouldn't just crave flesh. Well, I don't people. think any of them ate uh, it hungry, raw. Drive him nuts. I don't not think any of them stew, ate it Not in the stew, but Calhoun ate raw people. Yes. Oh, yeah, he probably did. He did. It shows clips of him yeah. eating raw people. That's true. That's right. So do you think that... um? The stew is just kind of the gateway drug, like it's cooked. I so think you'll it's going to be the gateway. Because now. now that dude that ate it is going to be like, what was this meat? And I'm going to crave it. And he's going to go nuts trying to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh, when uh, After they do their black sheep falling down the hill, their mountain together, uh, and Boyd's got that. Oh, his bone His, his oh, yeah, bone, bone point. Yeah. Can you, do you think you'd be able to stay awake long enough to push that bitch back in? No. Nope, I wouldn't no. either. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can't just push it down. Yeah, I don't you think have so either. To, no, you have to like, like pull, pull it out. You have yeah. to pull the leg in and like lift it up and then to reset it then, fully, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like there's a whole thing you could like a contraption thing for it. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, when he pushes it back in, I know it's a movie, but every time I'm, I see something like that, I'm like, don't do it, okay. don't do it, don't do it, don't okay. do it. Okay, okay, Saul. So here's my question. Then. Okay. If they fed you the stew or you ate the stew on your own, no matter what, uh -huh. do you just be a cannibal after that? Like, what do you do? You, I would go nuts trying to figure out what it was. No, I'm saying, no, no, no. I'm saying you are in Boyd's position. Okay. Oh, so you know it's me. And you they, know it's and human. they fed you the stew, mm -hmm. right? Because you're dying. They're like, you're gonna, yes, you're gonna die. Eat the stew. Say they spoon fed you the stew. You didn't have it. It wasn't your choice. Okay, but you ate the stew. And now you're 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 cannibal. You're a cannibal officially. You're You've been afflicted with cannibalism. Uh huh. Do you stay a cannibal or do you take yourself out? So. 
depends on how tasty it was. I've heard it tastes like pork. <laughs> mm, that, isn't that what they said in? Uh, That's what they say in uh, Green Inferno. They always say that. No, they always say it tastes like chicken. Yeah. Chicken pork. It's well, no, they called it pork scraps when there they you know, told the the vegan one. chick. Remember? Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. Pork <laughs> I don't know. That'd pork be a good scraps. weird thing. If I was in that position, I don't know what I would do. I would probably take myself out. Yeah. It just seems like a lot of emotional work to keep having to kill people and eat them. I think I want to know, like, if you live forever or not. Like, Like, you want to know the specifics? Like, I want to know what I'm signing up for before I commit to something, okay? Well, I I I need to read the fine print. Be like, if I can be a moron, be like, okay, I'm going to kill somebody who drives me nuts. Like, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to live that much longer. Because, okay, because think of it this way. People think vampires all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. But like I said, if this is like, if you do live forever, if this is literally just, I'm exact same as a vampire, except I have to eat human meat instead of drink blood and I get to go outside all day. <laughs> so where's the downside to this? I can still get a tan? Like the people like, yeah, the people that are like, I would love to be a vampire. I'm like, this is kind of the same thing. You'd have to pull off your most mm. inner dexter you possibly can by killing people and getting away with it. You could totally get rid of people and nobody would notice. Uh, especially the back then. No. I'm saying like, even today, like people do it all the time. Well, especially back then when people just walked into the forest and fucking died. <laughs> I mean, they were just like, well, I don't know. They walked into the forest two months ago. Maybe we should look for them. But it takes two months to get back from wherever they were going. So we don't even know if they're gone. It's like that's too much work. Now. <laughs> even then, though, even though like back then, I even think there's people like, were like, oh, I don't know. I had a brother. I didn't talk to him in 10 years. He moved out west. Like, who the fuck would know? And then yeah, maybe I'll like, get a letter from him someday. Yeah, but then maybe some not. guy just shows up yeah. like, hey, I'm your brother. You haven't seen me in 20 years. Like, OK, well, you kind of look like him. I guess you're my brother. Yeah. <laughs> people wouldn't notice back then. What a time to be alive. Cannibals. This is why I'm like, this is why like, um, like people were able to like rob banks and then just stay ahead. Like if you stay far if you stayed faster than the news yes. then nobody would know what you look like well even in the 70s serial killers figured out if you just went across state lines you confused all the police nobody talks to each other in, you know, between states so yeah so if we just cross the state or lines even, I like, can yeah, kill like, all the people like, like in the fucking uh, like in California we're like oh if I just drive 20 minutes over here I'm in a different city and they're not going to mm-hmm. talk to the LAPD either yeah. this is Santa Clarita now or this is whatever this mm-hmm. is like they don't talk to each other Yep. And we'll all just stay at the Cecil Hotel because no one gives a shit. Right. There you go. Really? I'm not eating. I would take myself out. I I respected Boyd for eating the stew because yeah. like he was dying. He was po- and he wanted Boyd. to take out Calhoun. Yeah. I, See, you I could figured just he did it because yeah. he was like, you know, I'm going to take him out. And you know what? He didn't kill die. that guy. He, you know, Calhoun made the stew. It's yeah. not like he did. <laughs> so you're saying, so why, who did they why the let guys, it go to waste? Yes, the guy's already dead. The damage is done. If you got to, you know, get your strength back up to kill the crazy person, then it? I was get it, it. They cooked Knox? Is that what it was? Yeah, they cooked the I'm going to say it was Knox because if they if they had ate Cleves, they might have they might have gotten high afterwards. Yeah, they could have. I don't know. Or who knows from what those women they've been getting. Does peyote... Marinate your beet. It would have been no like idea. the baked brownies. <laughs> Except it would have been the, the baked person. That that's the ending I want to see where they're all just stoned off their ass. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, wait, did we eat cleaves or do we eat nux? <laughs> no, it's kind of like that when they have their big final fight. Because there's a point where I wrote, I wrote a note. Don't you headbutt me? I'll headbutt you. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, they fight so hilarious. They're just beating the shit out of each other. I know. And how soon do you regenerate from, you know, your wounds? I don't know. And I love the whole conversation where Ives is just like, if I can last longer than you. You even (laughs) say that. I'm just going to eat you. Yeah, he says that. He's like, are you going to eat me? All I have to do is stay alive longer than you. Yeah. And no, that's why when Guy Pierce finally closes his eyes, it's like morality wins the day. Because he's dead. Everybody's dead. No more cannibals. I do love that Calhoun did kind of like bring that up because he was like, that was sneaky or whatever. Mm -hmm. And had that comedic (laughs) moment. And then he's like, but ponder this, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. What happens if you die first? I'm just going to eat you. <laughs> but what if I die first? Are you going to eat me, boy? I, I love why it, didn't though. he just start eating him? Is I don't know. Game. He could have. but I know. Why wait? That's right. Like, yeah. why wait? Just punch him. Like, rip his eye out. Yeah. Something. He'd be like, ate that. I'm good. You're right? I'm going to live. Like, I'm still going to eat you. I thought it was going to happen because, like I said, their fight was so ridiculously comedic. And then when he falls, when they both, like, fall into the the bear trap together it's like are they gonna make out now (laughs) okay (laughs) i do have to point out that um 
there were a couple things that happened during this movie. So apparently the somebody made out with somebody. No, <laughs> apparently the original director got canned two weeks into shooting, so oh, no. they had to bring somebody else in to finish the movie. And I think they, uh, I don't know if they changed. I know they changed one thing for sure. The original scripted ending was supposed to be the two of them fighting on a roof of the building at night while the building is on fire. What? Ah. So they changed it to like, well, let's just have you guys beat the shit out of each other instead. But I get it. That sounds expensive. Yeah, it does. So <laughs> I know, dangerous. I know and the night shoots. Nobody wants a night shoot. Yeah, so I know the the ending was changed to what it is, but I think it would have. Yeah, that would have added another comedic layer to it if they're both in the bear trap and still fighting each other. Like, <laughs> yeah, just, from like the waist <laughs> up. Like, yeah, kind of like, uh, it would have been like yeah. rock'em sock'em robots. They would have been headbutting mm-hmm. each other. No, I loved it because like. They fall into the the trap at first, and the Calhoun doesn't even understand what's happening until Boyd like takes his head and smashes it on the weight thing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the plate or whatever. And then uh, that whole part where you this is very sneaky, but then Boyd is just like, "I'm gonna lay on top of you," and they're just so close together. I'm like, <laughs> "What is this scene?" I don't know. But again, it confused my brain. It is a great movie with some great scenes. I'll I always love you, Boyd. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's, it was a very Jack and Rose moment. Eat me. I'll never let you go. The thing that would have made it funnier, especially you were talking about that, Angie, is they're sitting there looking at each other, and all of a sudden you start hearing Unchained Melody start mm-hmm. playing in the background, and you're like, uh-oh. Yeah. We're like, we're going to get a ghost scene. No, you no, said no. Titanic. So I'm, what's the fucking Celine Dion song? The Titanic one, whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. The, um, I don't know. The, the, woo! So, was song. it a heart so or a, something? I, my heart. Something. No, well, mine go to like anything is Unchained Melody. Yeah, it just, I don't know why. I the was ghost hearing. One? I was yeah, hearing. The ghost one. I yeah. was hearing porn music. Porn music. Yeah. <laughs> what is? Um, I was like, are they gonna fuck now? What does eighteen hundreds hillbilly porn music sound like? I don't know. I don't know. But this uh, side note, this movie made me want Jack in the Box tacos. So I don't know what that says about me or Jack in the Box tacos. Your curious human flesh. (laughs) Was it the edibles we ate? It might have been. Or was it the cannibalism? (laughs) I don't know. This is something we should probably talk about. But I did did pause this movie and say, I need Jack in the Box tacos. You're like, I'm going to start with Jack in the Box tacos. You know what? Here's here's what I'm going to say. We would probably get sick if we ate human meat because we're not used to eating actual meat. First of all, then human meat is probably I don't know like, we're probably too fat to eat or something. soil and green know. is people <laughs> what if okay what if we get to a point in in society like in the world with like you know food um scarcity I'm so yeah. say that we start having to eat people I'm assuming like, that all when of people these die things, no yeah. like when people die it's like okay we have to harvest them for food now we so can't, we can't we're gonna become go. like the terminus people in the go. walking dead well not like that like like, well, like we're just gonna fucking just like oh grandma's dead let's start the barbecue I mean like you know <laughs> like somebody comes and picks you up and they take you somewhere like you don't like your family just doesn't eat you at the funeral I'm saying like you know, hey waste it's not a whole, want not grandma I'm would saying, want us to have our I'm bellies saying, like, full it's okay whole, it's a whole process like, like of instead of sauce. having like you know like the guy comes up with the, in the truck and you give them grandma and then you know <laughs> <Bye> grandma <laughs> and then you know two weeks later they send you a few steaks in the mail or something like grandma I don't just know. filled wait, 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 your wait, wait, freezer wait. so if you know grandma's dying and you start marinated or soon have her drink bottles of barbecue sauce or there whatever you need be like there you go grandma you got room for this garlic in there somewhere? i don't think that's gonna marinate the meat though it cooked from the inside out. There you go. You don't know. Yeah. Just eat this whole bulb of garlic real quick. <laughs> like eat a bunch of this stuff so you taste like that. No. See, I'm not eating people. I'd probably go vegetarian if I had to. If Soylent Green became a thing and they're like, you got to eat these people. I'm like, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. <laughs> I don't know. You I've, would do it? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. Would you do it? Would no. you eat human meat? Like, I don't think now? I wouldn't be able to no, get that okay. in my head. I, no. Okay, way before we watched this movie, and not because of this movie, because that's weird. Um, <laughs> but I read an article before about this guy who wanted to eat his own foot. Oh yeah, the amputated foot. Yeah. yeah. So they amputated his foot, and he's like, "I want to know what it tastes like." So the, the story I was reading was like, <laughs> "Nope, I'm out." No. The thanks. story I was reading was like, "It's not illegal to eat human meat." It's just illegal to get it's it. It's illegal to kind of get it yeah. some way. So he was like, well, it's not illegal because they're cutting my foot off because we have to amputate it no matter what. So, yeah. So he wanted to eat it. And I guess they made tacos. And he said, it's like pork. 
Yeah, nope, not eating my foot. Wait, wait, why would you want to eat your amputated foot? Because he wanted to re- know. He wanted to know what reason, the human. The reason, yeah, there's, there's some reason they have to cut it cut off. Cut it off. Yeah, like you wouldn't want that. I ain't eating that. And it really, how much meat is even in your fucking foot? Because that would be my question. Because people they say, eat okay. feet all around the world all the fucking time. Man. Well, I don't eat feet. Pig's I ain't eat anybody's feet, feet, my own feet, or anybody else's. Legs. Okay. People eat fucking feet and legs around yeah, the fucking feet. world every day. Yes. Not but I. But still, though, I'm just trying to figure out why would he want to eat his own foot if they have the amputated for a reason. He wanted to. Well, maybe, maybe it was. You would the, think at that point, it's like if the pandemic has taught me anything, Salt, it's because people are fucking stupid. That too, maybe. <laughs> maybe it was a part, you know. Like, obviously, they're not going to cut it just the bad part. They're going to cut a little bit of the good part to, you know, keep the bad part from spreading. Yeah, but there's still part bad parts in it. It's I've never been it. like, yeah, my foot looks yummy. I want to taste it. <laughs> nope, never been that starving. Well, Thankfully, I'm an starving. American woman, so know. I've never had that so kind soft, of hunger. If you lost an arm, would you eat it? No. You wouldn't try it? No. Why would I want to eat my own arm? I know where it's been. So if I lost an arm, would you want to eat it? No. If okay. I if I can get a hold of some human meat, would you okay, try so it? Okay, so if you lost an arm, would happen. you eat it? I don't know if I would eat my own. Okay, because I was going to say, like, what, what if you lost your jerk-off arm, and then you know, like, I jerked off with that arm? Like, uh, what are you going to eat that one, right? Okay, I'm not eating the skin. It's not like I'm eating my own skin. It's not like I'm making pork rinds. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me put a situation on you. If you gave me your arm and I ate that, then what if I wanted to eat the rest of you? You couldn't do it. I can beat your ass with one. Yeah, but if I got that hungry to him, like, I know where he hey, sleeps. Cause... Apparently, if he eats your, it's like Highlander. He's going to yes. gain all of your powers. Yes. <laughs> no, he'll only gain one arm's worth. That's one it. arm's worth. You know, it'd be like a little appetizer. would be like, I got to eat the rest of it. Uh, I ain't eating people. I ain't going down that road. Yeah, it's a slippery either. slope, folks. Nope. That's your heart. Is it though? This Who week? do we know that's been down the slope that can tell us it's slippery? All I'm saying <laughs> is it seems to be a slippery slope. So horror PSA, don't eat your friends, kids. Yes. Nobody yeah, wants if you're going to gonna eat. eat somebody, make sure it's homeless guy or somebody that's No, dead. eat an enemy. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to murder enemy. somebody, I mean, eat it, and then at least you can claim insanity, there right? There you go. So that's your horror PSA. If you're going to murder someone... Eat, eat them. them. Eat them. <laughs> and you can always use the insanity defense because who the fuck does that? Siri yeah. nerd does not approve this message. Just Angie. No, Angie. <laughs> Paul approves this message. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but I could say uh, I could convince somebody. You're Don't crazy. take legal advice from a podcast, folks. <laughs> yes, if you're taking legal education, healthcare, from any us. sort of advice from none us, of us have yes. any degrees in any no. law. Other stuff, than to, other so. than to survive horror movies, yes. and be better at survival situations than may or may but not hey, arise in horror movies. But hey, if a guy is like, if you die, I'm going to eat you. Go ahead and eat that guy. <laughs> I mean, but I don't know. Is that a good defense? Like he said, he was going to eat me, so I ate him. It first. was eat or be eaten. <laughs> Survival of the finished, your honor. See, you can use that defense though. But in Step Brothers, remember the defense that they used when he said, "Let's get it on." And he's like, he thought he was going to rape me. Mm. You sure don't. So I ate him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> in prison, I guess that would work. But so, like, I can go to your neighbor's house and be like, "I'm fucking eat this dude." Like he 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 was going to threaten me. I swear. <laughs> so I ate him. Well, it's like that meme says: just carry around a fork, and if anybody fucks with you, just be like, "All right, let's do this." <laughs> like, just get your fork out. Because how you. off-putting would just a fork be <laughs> to or a spoon. guy like mugging you or something? No, you know? I think like, you need you need at least a, a one utensil, so probably a fork. Yeah, and one of those big like bibs. Bibs. Things. Yes, you have if to you pull have, out the big <laughs> napkin. Yeah, if you yes. had the, no, I want one that's, that's like, like the, huge, like the yeah, the, like the, the, the lobster, lobster one, but yeah. I want like a human like. If you had like a human guy, like on a platter, it looks like you like a uh, like the pig with the uh, we need to the make apple. these anti mugging oh, kits. So fucking the apple what we in need his to mouth do. And all like, all right, dude, I'll let you mug me, but no, if you lose, yeah. I'm gonna if eat you. You lose, I I'm eat, eat you, you, and I get to take all your power. Like what? <laughs> what would a mugger like? Assume you're mugging a guy, and somebody says that, like, I'm gonna take all your power and eat you. I'm like, okay, maybe well, so not this dude. Making it not worth it again. Make it not worth it by telling yes. you you're gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat you. No. You lose. Just 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 how about this? Okay, it doesn't even have to be that extreme of a situation just the next time someone's rude to you at the fucking store like imagine that you're i've been like, looking for somebody to eat no just imagine that, imagine <laughs> that you're in the grocery store and you're looking through the frozen food section and someone's like hurry the fuck up and you're like just slowly turn around smile at them and be like i'm gonna eat you and assume all your power cool. and just stare at them with a big smile on your face yes 
Oh, I hilarious. mean, with the way the public has been recently, it wouldn't even be that weird to some people. And then just stare at them as you walk away and be like, I'm going to go get some garlic. Stay right here. I'm going to go get Staring some Staring at anybody with great intensity makes them uncomfortable. So do it a lot, folks. No, <laughs> not, not just the intensity. You have to have the smile. I think yes. the smile is what throws Okay, well, they're going to have to wait until everybody gets their COVID vaccine then because oh, we can't man, go I anywhere guess. without our masks on. Then slowly pull your mask down as you're smiling and that's even creepier. The chances are assholes like that don't even wear masks. Well, so. I'm saying or just get one of those masks that's got the clear thing. Mm, yeah. There you go. Well, that was Ravenous from or 1999. Or just get a mask with a creepy smile already there you go. It's a crazy movie. It confused my brain very much so. There's Thank lots of cannibal. To- Thank you to Ron for suggesting this. He suggested a couple more. That He suggested um, another movie that we're doing for April Fool's as well because it's return of April Fool's month next month, yes. kids. We got some good ones planned. We do. Up next week, we've got The Blob from 1988. Which is a great one. It's got a what's that Shawnee kid's name Smith. in it? No, the other one. Kevin Dillon. Kevin Dillon. Dillon. It's got the Dillon in it. He does. I have a yeah. <laughs> He's got a wicked mullet. Yes. I've got some jokes about that guy's mullet. Oh, it's movie. luxurious. The curls. Long. Yes. I can't, I can't wait. Jeffrey Demon. He gets eaten pretty quickly. He yes. does. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that'll be next week. Yes. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of movies with eating things. <laughs> They're just hungry. I yes, know. Yes. I'm going to go get some Jack in the Box tacos after talking about all these cannibalism Craving things. Craving human meat. Apparently. Uh, but <laughs> what you if can... you found out Jack in the Box tacos were human? I mean, it is what it is. What if like the point? news came out? It's like, fuck. My first question is, can we still get the tacos? I mean, it's it... like, are you pulling the tacos from the menu? What yes. if that? What if that? What if that was what it was? So is yeah. that why Taco Bell pulled a whole bunch of stuff from their menu? It might I be. Know. Yeah, I don't know. Did they? Yeah. But we've all known that's not real meat anyway. Yeah. Yes. Didn't we know we all we've known that was silicone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean when it comes out in those perfect little <laughs> blobs no, of and meat. Thinking back, like when I was a kid, it was like they had that jingle. It was like fifty nine, seventy nine, ninety nine. Like that was their whole that. menu. Yes. I don't remember that. Like everything was like I remember that. one of those three prices. I remember when they had beans, but I don't yep, remember. Yeah, I remember the beans. Yeah. Oh. With the spork. I had friends yeah. that used to work at Taco Bell in high school, and they were like, yeah, that's not real. That's not like, oh, yeah. I we'll remember the beans had that like red oil on top. Do you remember that yes. shit? <laughs> I'm like, how do these flakes have this stupid oil? Like, what do you put on here that just makes it oily? Like, what are you <laughs> adding to this that gives it this oil? It was just the 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 meat, quote, Cody Fingers. I don't know fingers. how we got from the cannibalism meat. to Taco Bell tacos. <laughs> because Jack and a Bell taco. Jack, Jack and a Bell. Bell. Jack and a Bell tacos are human. <laughs> but that was ravenous. We'll see you guys next week. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com backslash scary nerd. You can check out more horror entertainment news at scary nerd.com. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, got a good comedy movie for the month of April, go ahead and email us at podcast at scary nerd.com and we will see you next week bye everyone george got shafted in this movie